Free refill, Wikipedia audio. Free refills occur when a drink, usually soda, tea, or coffee, is allowed to be filled again, free of charge, after being consumed. Free refills are commonplace in America and Canada in traditional restaurants, while rarer in airports, cafes, or service stations. Around the world, the availability of free refills is typically scarce, but varies widely depending on the country and the ownership of the restaurant. Although no one can trace the exact roots of the free refill, there are a few historical references. According to the book The World of Caffeine, The Science and Culture of the World's Most Popular Drug, around the 1890s if you were to ask a European visitor what in his opinion is the most noteworthy feature of American cafes, he is most likely to say, they refill your cup without charge, without asking. This book also contains another historical reference, it refers to the American roots of free refill. It states, perhaps, the endless refill is symbolic of America's special affection for coffee and its culture of largesse and informality as well. In 1988 Taco Bell launched their value initiative which included drive through windows, reduced prices, and free refills. As a major soft drink company owned Taco Bell at that time, this was strategically done to increase revenue and build the drink company's brand awareness. Free refills are now offered in most American restaurants. History There is little consistency outside of North America regarding the availability of free refills. For example, Burger King restaurants in Spain often provide free refills, whereas in Bolivia, Burger King restaurants do not. In France, free refills have actually been outlawed, in Germany, most restaurants charge even to refill water. Free refills are seen as a good way to attract customers to an establishment, especially one whose beverages are not their primary source of income. Due to the extremely low cost of fountain soft drinks, often offering a profit margin of 80 to 82 percent, establishments tend to offer free refills as a sales gimmick. Coffee produces a similar high profit margin, allowing establishments to include coffee in free refill offers. Most of these establishments have fast customer turnover. Thus customers rarely consume enough beverage to make the offering unprofitable. Some establishments, who make their primary income with beverage sales, only offer free refills to members of rewards programs. Bars in the United States often do not charge designated drivers for soft drinks, including refills. In certain areas of the United States, such as Massachusetts and New York, politicians have proposed banning free refills as a move against obesity. When New York City banned sugary drinks over 16 ounces in 2012, critics faulted free refills as one of the band's biggest weaknesses. In June 2012 Cambridge, Massachusetts, Mayor Henrietta Davis unsuccessfully proposed banning soft drink refills. The French government is another critic of free refills, due to health concerns about obesity. France created a tax on sugary drinks in 2011. In September 2014, Serge Hersberry, head of France's National Nutrition and Health Program, stated that free refills of sugary drinks should be banned. In January 2017, a law was passed banning the unlimited sale of soda and other sugary drinks at all public eateries. Early America Modern America Worldwide Availability Marketing Criticisms United States France